All right, so try this problem on your own and then press play when you're ready to work with me on it. Let's start by reading the question. Alicia has invented a new app uh, for smartphones that two companies are interested in purchasing for a two-year contract. And then here's our two offers. Company, company A is offering her 10000 for the first month and will increase the amount each month by 5000 Excuse me. And um, so, so that tells me we're going to start with $10,000 as our first payment for the first month. That's our starting point, 10000 And then each month after that, uh, the amount of payments is increased by 5000 So um, it's 10000 for the first month. And then for the second month, right, uh, it's going to be 5,000, right, times m minus 1, right? So this is our equation for after the first month. And all I'm saying there is, like, let's say the month is 2, right? So you plug in 2 for m, and um, 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 5,000 plus 10,000, that would cost you 15,000. Dollars that would be a fifteen thousand dollar payment. Excuse me, it would be ten thousand for that first month plus another five thousand. When you're at the first month, though, if you plug this in, uh, you get one minus one, which is zero, and zero times five thousand that cancels out, right? And that makes sense. And the first month, the only payment is just ten thousand plus zero, or just ten thousand dollars. Company B is offering five hundred dollars for the first month, and then we'll double their payment each month from the from the previous month. So they take this, for the first month it's 500, for the second month it's going to be 1,000, so they multiply it by 2. For the third month they multiply it by 2, and then by 2 again, so by, by 2 times. So that's 2 to the m minus 1, right? Because for the second month, of course, if you plug in 2 for your exponent now, it's 2 minus 1. It would be, I'll just write it down, that would equal 500 times 2 to the 2 minus 1, or just times 2. So in the second month, it would be 500 times 2, which is $1,000, right? That's how much you would get that second month. They want to know when does company B, that's right, B, when is B greater than A? When, is company, when are company B's payments larger than A? So that would be when does 500 times 2 to the M minus 1, when is that larger than 10,000 plus 5,000 to the M times m minus 1. All right, so I'm going to center this equation over here. I feel like it's, I don't like it over here. Move it over here. All right, so I'm actually going to use our choices here. 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's just uh, start with 7 and see what happens. So we get 500 times 2 to the 7 minus 1. Is that greater than 10,000 plus 5,000 times 7 minus 1 or times, times 6, right? So we have 500 times 2 to the 6th. Is that greater than 10,000 plus 5,000 times 6 or 30,000? So is it greater than 40,000? Let's see what happens here. So we find 2 to the 6th, 2. Here's the exponent button, to the 6th. Enter. Times 500. Enter. And we get 32,000. So it's not greater yet. We've got to move higher. 6 is got, obviously not going to work as well. Because we're trying to get this exponent as large as possible, so try 8 next. Right? So if we plug in 8, with same thing. So here's our next plug-in. 500 times 2 to the 7th, 8 minus 1 is 7. Is that greater than 10,000 plus 5,000 times 8 minus 1, or times 7? Does this work? So here, um, this could be another doubling. We could predict it's going to be 64,000. It's another doubling beyond this. Is that more than 35,000 plus 10,000? Yes. 35,000 plus 10,000 is 45,000. So now it has far exceeded it, right? Because doubling grows at a faster rate, it's exponential. You can imagine this graph kind of being this exponential shape right here, it's shooting up, versus a linear graph, as steep as linear is, eventually exp exponential will, over, will surpass it because it's curving up so quickly. So here, choice three works. And um, I feel like, for me, plugging in here is the most friendly strategy. All right, thanks.